Man, it is a hot one today, but that's not gonna slow us down one bit. The main thing that I wanna focus on this video is pretty much what I've been doing every video, making progress to get this car from being worked on to being done. Let's get started. And now, you're watching the misunderstanding that is saying quarter till nine when you could just say 875 channel of YouTube. Welcome to Bodie Vision. Hey, so what is up and welcome and thank you so much for joining me yet again on another video. So what I want to get into right now, the floor of the cab is just raw metal. I need to address that. I need to put a primer on it so that way it's not going to rust and it will rust really quickly if I don't protect it. So I want to get ahead of that by using my epoxy primer, DTM, direct to metal so that way it's going to be nice and protected and we'll just, we'll just get that out of the way right now. All right, so at this point, the floor is nice and protected and dry. I went ahead with some seam sealer around all the edges. I'm gonna have a little bit more cleanup to do, but all this stuff will essentially be covered. So since then, I actually have these brown seat belts that look perfect for this truck. So I'm just going to have to bolt this somewhere, but I got this bolted in nicely and bolted in at the top. So this truck before didn't have any seat belts, but now it does and seat belts are so important. But either way, that's something that I wanted to address while the seats were not in here and also speaking of having the seats not in here something that I wanted for this truck is I wanted to put some speakers in here so again going with the theme of having some stuff laying around that I can utilize to make this build even better I want to build a speaker rack to go back here and it needs to be nice and low in this corner because the seat goes here and the bench seat is sitting back quite a bit further than it was in the F350 so let's go ahead and work on whipping up some type of bracket that's going to house the speakers and let's make it look nice and the process. All right, so as you can see, everything is looking good. This is a one and a half inch dimple die. This is a two and a half inch dimple die. I just had to cut out an oval. This is how it looks on the front side. And as you can see right there, that's how good it looks on the back side. So these are the speakers that were originally in the Lincoln Town Car. I tore them off, put them to the side because I knew I'd want to be utilizing them in the future with this build. And now we're at that point where I need to figure out how exactly I'm going to take these panels and put them into the car. I was thinking just behind the seat would be perfect. So before I finalize those, I wanna sit the seat in there so that way I can see exactly where the best place to put them is going to be. Now the angle of the seat is a lot less drastic than a 45 degree angle. So I know that there is definitely a pocket back there. I just want to be sure. So I'm gonna do that a little bit later when I can get some help to throw the seat in the truck. So now what I wanna move on to next is yesterday, 
I went over to a trailer supply store and I just picked these up. These little mini tubs or tubs or I don't know, whatever you'd want to call them. These are fenders for a trailer and I got these for $30 a piece. And honestly, these are cheaper than the metal that they're bent on. So I don't know how they do it, but for $30. So I want to put these in the engine bay because I don't just want the front tires to throw around water like crazy. So what I need to do is I have this hood hinge piece right here. And as you can see, this one is already trimmed. I had to trim it quite a bit to fit because you can see how this one, these holes are lined up. Everything looks good back there. But this one, you can see that I even have to cut, I'm gonna have to cut half of the hinge off and then re-weld it and reinforce it so that way the strength can be added back to it. So I need to make some adjustments right here, trim this one up, get this one to the point that that one is nice and low so that way the holes are lining up. And then after that, my idea is I want to attach those tubs to this piece. So that way when you pull this out, the tubs come out and then these little holes right here, all these individual holes, that's where the fender is going to bolt to, even though the fender bolts up here so that way the front can be located and everything. This truck goes together, the front end, it goes together like Legos. It's super simple and easy to make sure everything's lined up. So I have to do a little bit of trimming on this one to make it look like that one, and then we'll figure out where the tubs are actually going to be located. I think. I think this is gonna look real nice. Even though I like seeing the tires in the engine bay, it's not as practical and clean and sanitary and we gotta choose function over form for this one. And it'll still look good. Right now I have both tubs in there, the left side, the right side, they're in the exact same location of the chassis as far as front to back, left to right. Well, I can adjust them a little bit more. What I usually like to do is get them about where I think they should go and then I'll just do the first one and then I'll adjust the second one to make sure they match. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the welder, get that tacked in and also I just wanted to mention, man, I've been using that HTP Pro Pulse 220 welder. That welder has without a doubt changed the way that I have been welding for the longest time because with the machine I could just set it to the thickness of the metal that I'm working with and it is going to be in the exact correct setting in order for me to just keep one weld running nice solid and really professional and that like I said that welder has helped me out a whole bunch so I'm gonna go ahead and get that tacked up make sure the battery's disconnected pull out this bad girl right here and then we're gonna go for it So at this point I have the trailer fenders or tubs, mini tubs, whatever you want to call them. I got them tacked in there and they are looking they are looking really solid. Now as you can see right now it looks a little bit goofy because we got such a big gap right here. But as far as my hood hinges go, they still work perfectly fine. I went ahead and I pulled off the spring so that way I'd have a little bit of an easier time messing with them and making sure I have full travel with the springs and whatnot. But I wanted to show you 
I wanted to show you how we look once we air it out and you can see exactly where where the wheels go and what we got going on. Boom, just like that. Now as you can see the tire right there, how phenomenal does that look? So just taking a look at it, the next thing that I want to do, I want to go ahead and fill out this gap because that doesn't look too good. I like the way that it looks right here, but I don't like the way that it looks in there. And keep in mind, I cut away a whole bunch of structure right here, and this piece is under a lot of stress from the hood itself. So we need to put some strength back in here, and at the same time, make it look a little bit better. You know, you know when we get a lot of work done, you gotta pull it out to take a good look at it. You gotta look at it out of the shop. I wanna kind of back up and take it all in. We got a lot done. This thing looks so good. I cannot wait to get the doors on, get the front end on, get the hood on, get the lights, the grill, just in general, get everything finished up, man. With every single video, we are making so much more progress. So in this one, we got the primer, we got the speakers figured out, we got the tubs pretty much figured out. I'm going to add a little bit more metal over here, and I wanted to tack these pieces on while they were bolted in because it's real easy for the metal to get away from you as you're working it with how hot it's getting, and I didn't want anything to warp, so I'm going to weld it out a little bit more then take it off because I want it to again take shape and hold before I remove it so for some $30 trailer fenders how great do these look I might have to put some more in the back and the main reason that I had to add these is because we needed to put strength back in over here for the hood so everything is looking really good in the next video we're going to be putting the front end together the doors on everything back together and eventually get into putting the box on the back so let me know what you guys think of all the progress thus far thank you so much for watching like this video comment subscribe do all the stuff you know what it is youtube i'll see you on the next one i'm out